Well, hello. Um, today I'm having some very gourmet food. <laughs> I'm eating mouse. I'm eating it because actually I wanted to go on that show alone. I still want to go on that show alone. I thought I should practice and a mouse drowned in my bowl. And I was like, eh, I should practice eating mice. So here it is. You can tell it's a mouse. Wait, let's see here. Let's get that. Oh, it's hot. See the eyes? That's a mouse and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I've never done this before. I put it in my stew and I cooked it for a really long time. So, it should be pretty tender. Bones. Hmm, chewing the bones. <laughs> I'm crunching on bones. <laughs> I'm eating them because um, I actually read that Native Americans used to mash up the bones of small animals and eat them. And uh, I guess that's why they didn't need milk. I'm going to eat these eyeballs and the brains too because there's probably a lot of nutrition in there. Oh, is this the liver? It's like a liver. Tastes like liver. I mean, aside from getting bones, tastes like chicken. <laughs> so, people all over the world eat mice. And some of the most famous world-class runners, the Tarahumara from Mexico, mice are a part of their diet. They're considered a delicacy in parts of China. The Romans used to eat mice. And um, I believe that the diet of this mouse is far healthier than any factory farmed meat you get. Um, these mice here, because I live in the woods, they eat juniper seeds. That's awesome. This is good. I didn't even put much salt. Hardly any salt. Um, yeah. So, how many mice do you need to survive in Alaska? <laughs> Hopefully, uh, if I get on the show, I'll, I'll get lots of fish and other critters, but ain't nothing wrong with this. Bon appetit. I'm not going to let you uh, watch me suck the eyeballs out. Or should I? You want to watch me suck the eyeballs out? Let's do it. Mm. The bones are just a little much, though. Okay. Can you see the eyeballs? Hard. Not as tender. I just ate mouse eyeballs. <laughs> it's hard to do this one handed because definitely there's a lot of little bones. Let's suck the brain out of the mouse. You can see, I think that's the brain. Brain. Bone. I mean, really? <laughs> it is no big deal. So when the zombie apocalypse happens, uh, y'all can start eating mice and not freak out about it. It's, it's okay. I bet mouse brains have like superpowers. You know, like why else would there be Mighty Mouse and and Mickey Mouse? Like why do they make these huge, huge 
huge shows centered around mice. They're just not awesome. I think it's good. It's just the bones. One-handed, eh, one-handed eating with bones is a little difficult. I'm going to turn this off so I can pick these apart a little bit more and enjoy it. There you go.